Thank you, everybody. And uh, my name is Kirilma. And here I'm representing Mongolia. So uh, we are an alternative investment platform. So when you think about Mongolia, maybe you think endless stars, maybe horses, and you know, rapid development, all the exciting um, happening, maybe good old Chinggis Khan, right? But as much as vibrant and interesting and historically with development, we are facing the challenge of the environmental degradation. We are number four, the most polluted city in the world. And then children in the capital have 40% less lung function compared to many other places. And as well as we are the number seven, the vast territorial country in the whole world. We have 1.6 square kilometer land, but yet almost 80% of it is affected by the sandstorms and the certification. So what do we do about it? It's a serious problem and now and in also future. But unfortunately, this is not only just Mongolia's problem, it's a global problem. So to solve this, we are taking a scope, trying to find solution locally and taking it globally. So for this, we saw an opportunity. Of course, it's horrible, air pollution is bad, everything is, but all we have is a land, Mongolia. 3.5 million people, but vast amount of land. And we need investment, and also while we have to solve this environmental problem. So what we have, asset, the land and we can um, use this for an opportunity for the carbon market. As of 2021, it was a two billion market, very attractive, but it's expected to grow almost 10 times, maybe 20 times more within only a few years. So this is the market that we are addressing, bring, being the, a country in the middle of the Central Asia, and we want to utilize what we have and offer it to the world, the solution. And interestingly, in Mongolia, every citizen has a birthright to own one hectare of land. And many of them don't utilize it because it's not liquid. And maybe they don't even build a house. Or what if we built a forest on it? What if we planted it? And then whoever invests in it can get 150% return on investment within just five years by owning the carbon credit that's being planted on that. But what regular person, regular citizen of Mongolia, can they actually get into the carbon market? It's nearly impossible with the current market situation. Because traditionally, carbon market is very inefficient. It's mostly reserved for the bigger institutions and you know, high net worth individuals, only specific those funds. Excuse me. So it is a high barrier to entry for both investors and as well as the asset listers. It's a very slow process because you have to be certified either VARA standard or gold standard, maybe UN standard. There are voluntarily involuntary carbon markets. But Mongolia's the key industries being mining and agriculture very heavily on the environmental hazards. We think this is a great opportunity. Thus, we offer you ORDA. We are a Web3 investment platform that's focused on alternative assets, but heavily, heavily focused on ESG. So we make it a Web3 infrastructure to uh, solve all those like, traditional carbon market problems, so make it more transparent, make it more trustworthy. We tokenizing the fund um, for the um, ESG carbons. And then to make it into manageable, inclusive, and democratic, we are introducing a DAO managed fund on blockchain. Yep, so this is our DAO structure. It's very simple. For investors, you buy in a DAO NFT, and you, that's your voting right. So whenever new ASG project comes up on our platform, you have a right to vote whether you want to fund it, go ahead or not. So as our platform, we are sitting in the middle with the ESG businesses trying to fundraise, solve the problems. On the other hand, institutional as well as retail investors, we are bridging them in the middle. So we do have a legal infrastructure. You, can, you might be thinking this is FinTech and this is um, ESG market heavily regulated. But we have built in the past year and a half, we have a legal structure with all the specific licenses, including our, um, we have the projects handpicked and then we do have specific license in the legally and then financially in Mongolia, including asset management, non-banking financial institute and private fund structure. So, up until now, we have tried many different assets, 10 different. We studied the market. We have wanted to understand what the investors wanted. So we successfully offered more than 10 investments and privately managed funds, including the whiskey fund, NFT fund, and whatnot. And we do have a, more than 700 paid users, and we have not gone public yet. This is just beta, and we only launched beta last June. This indicated a high demand, and it also, to our surprise, we thought it's going to be only local investors, but global, there was an interest, and more than 25% is foreign investors, including Japanese investors. And 
we have achieved a fair share of uh, good achievements. Um, you know, um, Startup World Cup, one of the biggest Silicon Valley pitch competition. We were regional top then. And then as well as the last year, we completed K Startup Grand Challenge. We made it to the top teams. And <clears throat> we were the very first um, Mongolian team to do so. And we take regulatory part and legal uh, compliance very seriously. Thus, we work very closely with our financial regulatory commissions. So they know exactly what we are doing. And we were the very first company to file alternative investment report. So like I said, financial legal framework, when it comes to this market, it's extremely important. So we have built this strong foundation infrastructure. So we do have all the licenses. And because we are moving fully into the Web3, we are getting the virtual asset provider license in Mongolia. It's in the process. And I believe the second quarter, we are going to get it. And as well as a digital money license. Just like many other companies, we want to fully operate in the Web3. Think of us um, Charles Schwab in Web3. So our roadmap, we have started and tested, beta test, and we have about $200,000 um, $200, asset under management, but we do have a pipeline of few millions setting up, and we do have new partnerships. We're developing funds, and we are releasing the ESG. And what's exciting is as soon as we pivoted into this, we have locked down three important partnerships. This is Mongolian National Forest Agency, and we are launching half a million dollar pilot ESG projects this year with the government and uh, in a metaverse. This is the second city of Mongolia, and we will be managing solely this 20 million trees on one kilometer square land in a metaverse, the investment. So we already have the investments in the pipeline, the assets are already there, app is there. So this is very exciting time to come in. And for ESG um, experiments, um, we do have National University of Mongolia. We made the very first endowment fund in Mongolia, as well as um, we are collaborating with the Department of Forestry. So this is our team. We're multidisciplinary entrepreneurs. This is our third company that we're doing. And he's an American, I'm a Mongolian. And very excited to be here. We do have, um, because we want to take this uh, project globally, Mongolia has been an awesome test bed. So we do have experts coming from all over Asia and the, um, North America helping us guiding us through the uh, global market. So this is, again, exciting time. And we really want to invite you for this opportunity to invest and move forward with us. Invest for your future as well as for the planets. That was Orda. And thank you so much.